be black and British sometimes feels like you're under attack. You can say whatever you want to say to me, but look at him. You can't tell me that I'm less than when he's literally flying. Scoo, what? They're really in love with Scoo. There's a certain level of like rebellion <laughs> that we just have in us. Like, I don't know what's in the water, I don't know what's in the air. Then you better come with me. Everyday grind is what bricks is made of, man. With snakes is risky. Jimmy Rogers was a youth worker and a basketball coach. Jimmy saw how black youth in Brixton were being marginalised and Jimmy felt he needed to empower young people to be whatever they wanted to be and reach their positive potential. Anyone who's on the outside looking in will think this is chaos, this is crazy, but it's a place that you end up falling in love. Michael Jordan came to Brixton in 1985 and it created a huge stir. We scrimmaged for about two hours maybe that day. He went past me in that game and his sneakers, like I'm sure they were around my ears. Well, it gives the, uh, a lot of kids around here something to do instead of just being around the streets doing nothing. Uh, they can go, come join the leagues and play the game of basketball. He was having a way up the time. It's the heart and soul of Brixton. My father came here in 1954. That first influx of Caribbean migrants, the Windrush generation. The environment that first generation had to experience was brutal. They were invited here, yet when they came here, they were treated with scorn and yeah. told to go home. We were in the height of Thatcher years, very uncaring government that saw us as a problem. It was always going to end in an eruption of anger. I really feel that resistance is in our DNA. One of the biggest secrets of history, really, is how central black women are to our community's narrative. I know the work that the generations before have put in. I want liberation for everyone. I want to be able to inspire with my basketball. shows me that I can do things, build an identity for myself. I've got pride now that I can say Michael Jordan came to my club. If you think about how many people have been positively affected in the club, can you see how the branches, it's now bigger than just in Brixton or in London or even in the UK. I've come across the French Jimmy Rogers, I've come across the Bronx Jimmy Rogers, they exist all over the world, but nobody knows who they are. The people that come are interchangeable, but the ethos and the sense of community doesn't change. I'm going to keep campaigning. The injustices that I see every day, I dare to be joyful, I dare to be happy, I dare to look. The old spirit that we had, that kind of defiance that we had, the energy that we had, has passed on. These guys went through it for us. We grew up in the community that they created. It's like they gave us the blueprint. We definitely have to carry that. Every street.